Sliding towards summer, Anna Edney soaks up another sunny day with her two boys at Duke Park, always keeping an eye out for the tiniest of threats. I hate ticks. For her, it's personal. My younger sister almost died of chronic Lyme. Lyme disease, though rare in North Carolina, Rocky Mountain spotted fever and starry that comes from Lone Star ticks can be contracted if you're not careful. The rash may come seven to ten days after the initial tick bite. So Dr. Dan Ostrovsky usually sees tick season peak in August. When you have a healthy child or adult who presents with high fevers and not much else going on and maybe plus or minus a history of being outside a lot, that makes us really suspicious for tick-borne illness. Prevention is key. For those over two months, he recommends DEET, also long sleeves, pants, and closed-toed shoes. And when you come inside a thorough once-over, Edney knows all about it. At the opening of your shorts or your socks, like near the edges of your socks, um, you know, looking in your hair. The CDC is apologizing for how it warned folks of just how small ticks can be the size of a poppy seed. Dr. Ostrovsky says no matter how small, you need to be careful if you find one on you or your child. What you don't definitely want to do is just grab it and rip it off because you want to make sure you remove the whole tick. Dr. Ostrovsky says you can save the tick and if symptoms appear, bring it in so your doctor knows what they're working with and treat with antibiotic if need be. Whatever you do, he says, don't fear the great outdoors. My husband and I refuse to allow it to scare us out of enjoying the outdoors. We like to take both of our boys camping because that's just part of the risk that comes with being outdoor. In Durham, Andrea Blanford, ABC 11 Eyewitness News.